Hello eCognition community and welcome to this eCognition Deconstructed video. Today we're going to talk about a brand new algorithm that's implemented in version 9.4 called vector-based segmentation. And it's very neat to have straightforward and after this video we're going to understand what it does. So in principle the vector-based segmentation algorithm creates or converts an image object level to reflect the content of a vector layer. So it simply takes your vector layer that you've loaded into eCognition and converts it to image objects. As you probably all know, you can load polygons, lines and also point vector layers into eCognition and use them for your analysis. And this vector-based segmentation simply transfers them into image objects. And each thematic layer that you use for segmentation will lead to additional splitting of image objects. So you increase the number of image objects created based on your thematic layers that you load. Let's open eCognition and see how this algorithm performs and how the results look like. Here we have an aerial image as well as a few vector files. Aerial image has acquired a high spatial resolution of 60 centimeters and four bands and we have these vector files. We have points of interest. You see this purple color down here. So that's a point vector. Let's zoom in into one of these. So you see these crosses representing each one, one point of interest. Next one is the road. So we have the yellow lines represent the road. So it's a line, it's not a polygon. We have the buildings, they are polygons. So we have all the three types of vectors in the project and also the waterways, also a line. So we have points, lines and polygons. Now we want to convert them into image objects. What we're going to do, we're going to use the vector-based segmentation. Easy. We choose the vector-based segmentation as algorithm. We define a level name because we're creating a new level. I just simply call it level one. And here we can choose which thematic layer we're going to use for the segmentation. First, we're going to go for the buildings. And this will cut out our buildings and create image objects based on this vector file. Here we go. You also see on the bottom right, we have more than 1000 image objects and that looks pretty good. So each building is segmented. Let's also display the vector layer. So you see here that was the input vector layer and in the blue outline displays the outline of the image object. Now you simply could go ahead and classify these objects that are overlapping with the building thematic layer as existing buildings and then look for new buildings just as an example let's have a look at the points of interest so we simply have to change the thematic layer usage and now the only yes is for the points of interest execute it and actually using these settings we are overwriting our level that works perfectly and the result is for point vector files they lead to image objects with a size of one pixel as you see here and the pixel is corresponding to the overlap with the vector point you have image objects with a pixel size resulting from this segmentation if you're using points as vector layer okay the next one is the roads so that's set, set to yes. And you see also the override existing level was set to yes. So it's simply overriding our existing level. And here we have the roads. So that's a line vector that is transferred into image objects. And you nicely see that we now have image objects. And they are bound to the pixel size of your project. You see, you see the outline that is following the pixels. Um, that's following the pixel outlines of this 60 centimeter spatial resolution image. All right, last one is the waterways. So also line vector, more or less the same. We are overwriting our levels. So we only have our river up here that is segmented and you get this nice image object representing the line vector. Let's display the waterways that overlaps perfectly. And now instead of writing four lines of code, you only can use one line, say use all thematic la layers in my project. 
and it does it in one step. So now we see the buildings, roads, the points of interest and also the waterways are segmented. So one line of code and all thematic layers in your projects are image objects. One last thing is let's assume you already have an image object level. Uh, simply create a chessboard segmentation and you want to cut out your vector layers here. You have to define in the domain that you're working on the image object level because you already have an image object. And we say yes for all thematic layers, use all of them. And then you have two different settings that you can use parameters, merge objects, yes or no. First one is no. And you're gonna see the result's gonna be different if you set it to yes. So no keeps the image objects of the level, the outline. So you see the chessboard is still there and also cuts my image objects of the thematic layers. Here you see the road, here's a building, so let's cut along these lines of the previous segmentation. If you set merge objects to yes, it's gonna merge as far as possible, so you only have the image objects based on the vector files. Let's see how that looks like. Probably looking pretty good. Here we go. So you see, it's more or less dissolved, so merged, and you only have the outlines of your vectors instead of the chessboard, in this case. So you have different settings that you can play around with and have fun. Okay, that was already it. Thank you for watching this deconstructed video. I hope you're gonna use this algorithm. I think it's pretty straightforward. It's very helpful and here next time.